The benefits for government in this relationship include evidence-based policy input. And we heard um, Trish even talk on, on or refer to the need for evidence-based policy. But when I talk about that, I need to point out that there is a good research on sex work in Australia. In fact, there's a lot of evidence of really poor research. So when I refer to evidence, I'm talking about the evidence that is collected within sex worker organisations from sex workers. It's the evidence that we all hold within our organisations, but at the moment is referred to as anecdotal and is often not recognised as important. And what I'm saying today is actually this kind of evidence is in fact far more important than the evidence we see within research today where within Australia, where the methodology means that that, in, that information, that data collected within research um, becomes unusable. I all, am also um, stating that the benefits for government include less policy. As um, Saul pointed out so beautifully, and really that chops out about half of my presentation, with decriminalisation, you don't need to rewrite 25 pieces of legislation, 100 pages on new laws and um, new charges and fines for sex workers. What it means is that sex industry best businesses are regulated like any other business. We already have laws in place that cover those issues. We don't need new legislation, new laws. What we need is sex industry businesses to be treated in the same way as others. In this way, policy is more likely to succeed when the advocacy and the input into policy comes from sex workers themselves. It means that rather than government implementing their framework onto the sex industry, we as sex workers have identified what are our needs and what we need in the case of um, policy. There's also a likelihood of greater sustainability and of course it saves us all resources. Representative, representation, having sex workers on um, panels informing government, but also um, at the table in policy development um, discussions, means that we also we all save time and energy. We're not um, we're not commenting on legislation that's already been drafted and already been drafted badly. We're actually included before the stage of drafting. We're included before anything is developed, before it's even identified whether or not we need change, whether we want new laws, new legislation. So really the basis of my presentation is that sex workers are the experts. Sex worker organisations, projects and sex workers are the obvious choice to inform sex work or sex industry policy. As identified by Trish, government is recognising our role in advocating on behalf of sex workers and is recognising the partnership approach. So we will definitely be stepping up to the plate to take up that place in Australia. We will definitely be um, taking on um, informing government policy from the voices of sex workers that we are here through peer education, through community engagement, through sex worker involvement in our organisations and through our member organisations. But I need to point out that the big question of dollars is always the difficult point. This must be resourced. And when I talk about resourcing advocacy, I mean that within our contracts, advocacy must be recognised as an important aspect of the work of sex worker organisations. It means recognising that as community-based organisations, we need to consult effectively with our communities, and that takes resourcing. It means recognising that in community engagement, community development are core aspects of our work. And it means having policy staff within our organisations, policy positions. It also means funding the governance structure of sex worker organisations to ensure the leadership is there to effectively do the advocacy. And it particularly means state governments recognising the benefit of supporting sex worker community-based organisations by resourcing peer-based sex worker organisations and making that choice over putting out for tender um, sex worker services. It also means that as, the se as part of the sex worker input, our, as part of the sex worker community, our input 
is the most important. We are not just one of the stakeholders, we are the key stakeholder. And as a result, we will end up with effective sex work policy that benefits sex workers and government. Thank you.